All right, today we're gonna to be taking a look at setting up the Axis Decoder Unit. Uh, the purpose of this is to set up permanent video monitor displays, and this is primarily in conjunction with a Meraki camera deployment. So if you don't have Meraki camera specifically, but you have a, uh, another brand of camera that you wanna set up with, um, you can fill in the blanks of this and be able to set them up for yourself. Um, this will just be taking an extra step to look into the Meraki portal and how to obtain your DSP address. If that applies to you, let's get started. All right, we are now ready to deploy this unit. So let's take a look at what's in the box. We've got our unit and we've also got a power cable that's included, a manual and a little mounting bracket. Don't worry about those for now. So while this is a PUE device, I am using my one PUE ejector for the camera. So let's get us set up with We'll do a video out. I've got this set up to my monitor. The nice thing about these is no other PC is required except for in the initial setup. We need to provide him with data and power. So I'm using one camera here, but this works for as many cameras as you have on the site. Um, in the decoder unit, you can set up a video all with one camera up to 16 on one screen, and you can adjust all that once you get into the menu. Once the device is fully booted, we are given an IP address and we will use that to configure the device. All right, so now we know the IP address of the decoder unit. Let's connect to it and see what we have. So the default username is gonna be root and pass. I've already set up a password on this or it may take you to a menu um, that'll let you set up your own. So once we're in, let's take a look at our video sources. This is where we are going to add our RTSP address. So in order to get that, let's take a look at our Meraki portal. So once we're in our camera, let us go over to settings. And then there will be this option down at the bottom. It says external RTSP. This is the real time streaming protocol. We we'll want to enable that. And then now we have our link right here. So copy that. Make sure that you tab over to the generic camera for the Meraki's because this is not an Axis branded camera. I'm gonna paste that in there. Make sure you make sure you paste in our TSP and then also the port 9000 forward slash live. So let's save the camera. As you can see here, cannot read from the source, so that means we need to take a look at one of our settings, which this is 264. Let's go over to protocol. So keep this on port 554, transport. Let's switch that over to auto, HTTP, port 80, and save. Now that we have live feed coming in, we can take a look at our display settings and actually arrange how our videos will be laid out on our monitor. So now we got one camera, so it's one by one. We can select from two by two or four by four. As you can see, I've only got one camera added in. So as you go forward and you have multiple cameras, just repeat the first steps that we did, enter in those RTSP streams and populate with all the cameras that you have. You can rearrange them from here and uh, make everything look exactly how you want it to. There's a couple more settings here to play around with. Um, feel free to explore. This is a pretty capable unit, but that's about it as far as setup goes. So I hope you found this information useful. Take care and good luck.